Hello everyone and welcome to the latest episode of Use Refresh Lettuce. I am your co-host Rachel. And, I'm and in this episode we're going to be talking about daddy makeovers. Snatch them up. If you're not doing so already, please follow us across all social media platforms at YDFL Podcast. Um, you can also check us out on your favorite podcast platform including... Alexa, YouTube, yes. iHeartRadio, Spotify, we have Pandora, like yes. we're everywhere. You Worldwide. can find us anywhere. We're Worldwide. over 28 countries, 28 countries and counting and counting. So. Um, but if you are curious as to like what we're wearing, what we're doing, the facial expressions we're making, our new studio look, head on over to YouTube and type in you deserve fresh, fresh lettuce. lettuce and the show will come up. Like, share, comment. Yes, and share with three Subscribe. friends. Because we're trying to grow our audience. Right, audience and if on you like YouTube. it, like it and uh, comment. Because we love listening and hearing and yes. we love answering comments. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's get into it. Daddy makeovers. Okay, so this kind of came about because I had asked Dahlia a question where I asked her, I'm like, do you think that, that like guys would should have Botox? I was like, would oh, you? Yes. Would you? Because like, yes, I right. noticed my started. friend's uh-huh. husband, I was like, I think she has him get Botox. So then I asked her, like, does he get Botox? She goes, oh, yeah, girl. If I have to get Botox, he has to get Botox. Yeah. And I was like, wait, it's a thing? And I was like, yeah, don't, didn't you know? And then I, I started telling her that, you know, in order for it to be a little bit more masculine, you say it's Botox. <gasps> Botox. And so, so I said, I said, you know, and, and I've, and I've, dated you know and I'm like hey it's time for you to get your Botox like you know because we take care of ourselves and of course if the man needs a little help you as their significant other should be like hey honey you know you have the little frown lines there and there's nothing wrong with it it's very subtle I know a lot of men that do it by the way like really a lot of men that do it and if you guys are anywhere near Orange County California oh, Lord. then you would see like some of the guys probably do more than the girls by the way I mean that's a little <laughs> They're like bit puffy and glistening on um, that's another that's another episode maybe but um but I've seen it and I've also seen the guys um, I knew someone particularly that um, when I was much younger in my 20s, this guy owned like a bunch of restaurants and this and that. He was very successful, but I guess he was like 300 plus pounds. Oh. So he lost a lot of weight. So of course he had a daddy tuck, which is like a mommy tuck or it's like, you know, it's a, like, it's a like tummy the mommy, tuck, the mommy makeover. The mommy makeover, but it's like the daddy makeover. And you know, he had the boobs cause they also do like the, oh, they wow. actually will go in and take the fat off and then do the liposuction. And then there's also, by the way, like the pec implants and um, and the, the calf implants. I mean, you name it. Whatever uh, a woman can get done, so can a man. The guys are doing it. On period. And, you know, and I think it, it's just for women it's a little different because we get the breast implants and it's like instant like whoa yeah you see it right everyone's away. like breast implants lipo you know bbls booty lip whatever and everyone talks about all the things you know like when you're around you know sitting down around a group of friends they're yeah. like oh, i went with my doctor and i did this and i did that and lipo and this and you're like whatever but guys typically don't sit around the table talking about the like bro talks yeah the bro talks you bro talks we're going weekend. to bro talks parties or a bro talks <laughs> party or a liposuction party so i think that to, look at I, i'm all for a guy that invests in himself of and course. In his appearance i i guess i really appreciate a guy that is aging gracefully like i yeah. do have an appreciation for guys that are a little bit gray they're kind of graying now yeah. and, and i do have an appreciation for like the crows like when the they smile team. it's so weird like i do have yeah. an appreciation for this but at the same time, Ben, on the flip side, I'll see men that I know for a fact that's not how black their hair should be. And I go, why are they doing that? Like, why? I mean, my grandpa, we're dying our hair. I mean, by the way, my grandpa, let him rest in peace, he was white. Like, when I'm, t- I'm talking as white as this part yeah. of the freaking <laughs> mug. And, you know, but his hair was as black as the D okay. on my mug. And so, and you could see it. it almost so he looked, would dye it? Oh, for sure. And, it, and you could see the roots. And it was like, it almost looked bluish because it was it was probably not done correctly right and you know what and i'm gonna put my dad's business out there too my mom's his personal stylist so my mom like literally will touch him up yeah she'll he'll say okay it's time and and i've known a lot of guys that actually get their hair dyed i don't think it's that big of a deal um i think it's like okay it's part of maintaining and and i get it like my dad if you ever met him or knew him like he's a freaking total rancher dude like yeah, yeah. never would think that he'd care to like cover yeah, up I'm the surprised. gray yeah 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 and i'm sure the bro talks he would totally like flip me off and like be like hell no <laughs> bro, no 
But um, but the but the dyeing of the hair, he's totally cool with it. See, and uh, so I've heard like guys dyeing their mustaches and doing yeah. all these kinds of things. Look at I'm all for like the hair plugs. You know, if you have a massive receding hairline, which is very common for yes, men, and, yes. and then you feel some kind of way about it because you were born this one way and now it's receding back. Go, you know, go do your thing. And and I guess at the end of the day, I guess I would just have to see because I have met some men, yes, in South Orange County specifically. Yes, ma'am. They are looking like little puffer fish, and I'm sitting there going, "What is it? Did he get some?" Like I find myself, my vision is really bad, darling. Yeah, yeah. But I find myself kind of looking when you're they're like talking. You're like really analyzing it, and now I can't down. focus on what they're saying. And oh I'm my. like, and then the lips look too smooth, and I'm like, what's happening? Because they're getting like fillers in oh, their yeah, lips for sure. too. Oh yeah, hundred percent. They're doing this and this everything. Um, I I know that like for instance, my old colleague. That's what I like to call him, the old colleague. Um, he Are we was about <laughs> my ex husband. Okay. <laughs> yes. And uh, and he had a re- really 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 bad receding hairline. And I know that he was a little bit, like, not sure. And I was very much, like, cheering that on. I was like, you need to do that. Like, that's yeah. part of maintaining. Yeah. And I know that I, like, did some research and found, like, a surgeon. And I was like, this surgeon's really great. And he's in Beverly Hills or whatever. And, you know, it's one of those things that once you do the receding hairline, you, it's, a, it's a commitment. Okay. It's kind of like doing the boobs. You know that once you do the boobs, the one time, it's not forever. Like, you have you to get it. them replaced. Oh, yep. And you have to, you know, do all the things. So it's the same thing with with the receding hairline. You have to do it at least anywhere between three to four times to oh, maintain okay. because those um, the, the follicles, I guess the, the follicles start to fall off, and then you have to replace them and what have you. So I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I I mean, you know, I, I think anything within uh, like it has to be a subtle thing, right? Because I have gone like I was. I always remember this story. I think I I came out of there traumatized. Um, I was with some friends and we were in Laguna and we go to this like massive mansion in Laguna Beach and like over the freaking hill and the cliff and and it was like a very gorgeous home and the owner of the home when I saw him, I was like, so is it a he? Oh yeah, you told me. Or about is this it guy? a she? <laughs> and I was like, and I'm like, okay, that's the girlfriend, super young, beautiful, like pretty girl. And I'm like, okay, maybe he, she is a lesbian, you know, because I was trying to figure uh, that out. And so you see him, he's got short hair. He's botched. Dyed, kind of botched. He was totally botched, by the way. Yeah, yeah. He had had his eyelids cut. I uh. know that for a fact. And for, for sure, he had like lip filler, but you Look couldn't tell. Like, he looked like a very old man that was trying to keep up. Uh, and I'm not trying to... Like, like Walter just, Mercado type? Yes, like oh, like that look, man. you know, like the Walter Mercado. That's what I'm picturing. Like, like, yes, exactly. Yeah. But he had the dyed hair, and you can almost see when it's dyed, because it's like not true to like the color. It's dark black or It's like this weird. crazy bluish color, yes. right? And, um, and you know, and I was like, well, welcome to Orange County, California. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you don't know. And, and I, you know, I, I'm not bashing anyone because the Lord knows, like, I get hooked up. Yes. So, so I here's the it. thing. So it doesn't just, you know, end with the, from head, you know, to, to chin, to eyes, to lips, to, you know, pecs. Yeah. It actually keeps going. Do we want to talk on this episode about, about the, the penis? Im- yeah, the penis yeah like we can. All absolutely. Right. I've never been with anyone with a penis no, implant for the record. You and know I don't know what You're like... <laughs> I mean, I haven't been out there like no, that but, much. Know, like, anyway, if, I'm not trying to act like I'm like yeah, yeah, yeah. no no at all. Um, I just wonder if we would know. I think that um, so I came across this guy on TikTok that he calls himself. I believe it's Doctor D. Uh huh. And um, I don't know his handle, but you can look the up Doctor D. Gay? He's not gay. Oh, because and there's another a, one that's he's a gay. Chubber, he's a okay. chubby older man. He's an yeah. actual surgeon, uh, and he created this technique where he, he goes, goes and he injects. Um, he so he can increase girth, okay. and length. Okay. And he does it through injectables. And right. there's a few things that he does. And so, um, so, and he only charges like $500 up to like $1,500 per session That's or something it. like that. But, it's okay, like some, but I wonder though, because like if it's $500 to $1,500, that means that like, it's get he's giving it to you to where you want more because I mean it's of course probably it's probably like, like Botox filler like it's probably like fillers. it's probably like this little like lip filler. baby amount that you're like it doesn't even you can't even tell no no you know? no you could tell he said and so everybody in the comments uh-huh. the people that got it they're like oh no like she noticed or whatever yeah. yeah and so it, it got to this thing where I'm like well I guess as women you know we're trying to pump up our stuff and like you know our boobs or this or that well and I mean so they, guys... have, they also have like for the women though like they have the g-shot you know oh, yes. where they actually go in there for the women that actually can't orgasm naturally so they actually yes. have the they doctor that's it. out of Beverly Hills he goes in there I think it's supposed to last three to six months I really don't know I've never done it 
But, um, you know, there's that. So, you know, you can't really say, like, well, why would you go get, you know, your yeah. <laughs> situation injected, you know? But, I, ladies, if you're watching and, and you are, you know, your man might be lacking, you're like, I love him so much, but he's kind of not all there. You yeah. know, there is this doctor on TikTok. I don't know exactly where he's located, but he does, it's like a non-surgical uh, procedure to increase the growth, increase the length. Um, and in that case, I could see like where men, it's like, okay, I could see that, you know, maybe they need to boost their confidence and they're doing whatever they think they got to do, right, to, yeah. to make that happen. But I did watch an episode of Botched um, one mm -hmm. time and there was this uh, young man and he was um, a homosexual man in okay. Be Beverly Hills and he had a sugar daddy. Okay. He was very wealthy. El and sugar. El sugar. And this dude had... I mean, every muscle part that a bodybuilder builds, it was oh, an implant. Oh, an implant. Was he Asian? Because I thought I saw something with some I don't know Asian if he, maybe dude. he was half. Like, he kind of looked white he to me, but he might have been mixed. Yeah. And he had everything implanted. implanted. Oh, man. And it was, like, insane. Like, I just it's thought, too much. oh, man. You know, I um I was talking to a guy, um like, a long time ago, and he, I guess, had fluctuated in weight, and he's, you know, it was, it was just like a, we were just con having a conversation, but anyway... He starts telling me how he really wanted to have, like, liposuction and a tummy tuck. And so within that conversation, he's like, you know, if I did that, would you take care of me? And I have to tell you, like, I think that that's something that you have to grow into, meaning, like, you have to have love for your partner to be like, I would totally take care of you. Were you guys dating? So we, we were just talking. So okay. it wasn't like we were dating. And so for me, I got to tell you, I'm all about improving yourself. I'm all about get it done. If you don't like it, nip it, tuck it. But something about that conversation seemed to me very female, okay. uh, very very feminine, that I was like, oh, I don't know that this is, eh. you know, like if he's You're that, all, I am not doing your lymphatic massages. <laughs> <I'm> just like, <laughs> it was really weird, you know, but I get it. Like, I, I'm not against it because I've seen it and, and people actually do the whole, you know, they'll do the belly button. Because that to me is very, like when anyone does any kind of tummy tuck, <gasps> the belly button is the number one indicator that you had a tummy tuck. I always say if it looks like a pencil eraser. Yeah, and, and some doctors are getting a little bit oh, better with that, by the it, way. Yeah. But for the most part, I think that the belly button always, always gives it away. It's something about the doctors not knowing how to do that little belly button. I even know someone that got a tummy tuck and they lost their belly button. Um, By the way, there's like a 38% chance to some high number that you will lose your belly button in that process that the right. blood will not circulate so she actually is one of them uh, it died right so they so that she didn't have a belly button and so she got tattooed in the middle so it looks like a belly button uh, I guess if you were to see her in pictures in a bikini you'd be like oh you wouldn't okay, think much but, but in real life it's just a tattoo oh snap but mm -hmm. usually they'll create a a belly button from your skin like she just opted not to go well her died this. so they had to re go in and redo whatever there was something oh, that so happened. like they were going to salvage it and then they and went in and then it died salvaged. and they could yeah. be salvaged so she has no no, no belly, belly button, button. Oh, yeah. Man. yeah yeah and you know and i think that you know i i noticed it because there's a that's a very trending thing especially within females to get a tummy tuck especially because we as women obviously we carry kids and we have yeah. children the body changes the anatomy of the body changes but to have a man ask you when you're not really, like, technically together to be like, would you take care of me if I had a tummy tuck in a lipo section? I was just like, it just seems like very feminine energy to me. And I was like, yeah, you know, I'm all about it. I'm going to root you on, but yeah, I'm not the one. So do you see yourself, like, you and your partner growing old and getting facelifts together? For sure. Okay. A hundred percent. Yeah. Like, yeah, 100%. Like, yeah, it's about that time we got to stretch and lift. Yeah. For sure. But if it's uh, someone you're talking to, it's different. That's rough. Yeah, because it calls to my mind, like, um, when Bruce, when Caitlin was still Bruce and married to Kris Jenner, and they, uh -huh. she essentially was like, honey, look, you're, it's time. Like, she was showing him, like... So she was going to go get her facelift, and I think he got one around the same time or whatever yeah. um, and stuff. So I thought that that was interesting that she was encouraging him yeah. to get the work done. She took him to the surgeon, and they were doing a consultation on camera for I, him. I think it matters, though, in my opinion. I think it really, really matters where you are in what part of the state, what part of the country yes. you're in. Because depending, like, if you talk to someone maybe out of Texas, it'd be like, I'd be damned if you even touch my face. I'm a, you know what I mean? I'm going to whip your ass. Yes. And out here, it's very common, like, who's your doctor and how many CCs? And, yes. you know, and I, I don't know if you know this, but typically men, because of the way that their facial uh, features are and they use their, you know, their their muscles, are, they're a lot stronger men have to get more Botox than women. Oh, I didn't know that. So usually, um, whatever you would get, a man would get maybe half of that dose, like 
increased or like double the dose oh, basically. Okay. So it's a lot more for a man. And sometimes it's hard when a man's just about trying to adjust to the Botox because after a while there's no movement. And I know you've never oh, had Botox, I had so, it, yeah. so you're very fortunate that you don't need it. But like, you know, there's there's moments depending on who the ejector is that you might just be like more frozen, frozen yeah. yeah, than other times. Um, I think that I've, you know, for me not to get off topic, I know that I have had some people throughout the years, even though I'm insecure, you know, I talk about like yeah. I have under eye bads and I've had them and I'm getting older and there's all these things that I want done, right? But um, I've had a few guys that have said, that one of their favorite things about me is that when I smile, my eyes smile too. Mm. And I think that and yeah. although I look at it like they're all wrinkly and everything, they're looking at something that they're not seeing in the world. And yeah. I think it's because, especially out here in Southern yeah, California, sure. everybody's eyes are like wide. They're like wider and they're very fixed. And, right. And so I had a few different people that didn't know each other actually say that to me, wow. um, which That's was very compliment. interesting because it made me less insecure about the fact that I had this tired look or this or that, whatever, because yeah. I do laugh a lot and I yeah. smile all the time. Yeah. And so I go, well, it is what it is. I but, call them the happy lines. Oh my gosh. But I'm you know, like, can you take care of my happy lines? But I will tell you, I do genuinely actually want procedures. Like I've mentioned yeah. to you, I want like my under eye bags removed and I want certain things done. And that's way more evasive than, say, filler or Botox or whatever. But I think when it comes to men, I just, I, I guess because I notice it, I think that when I meet somebody and then I notice it, it seems, this is going to sound so hypocritical, it seems vain to me. And okay. a man who's vain, it's like a red flag to me. Mm. I guess if I'm in the relationship already and I'm like, come on, honey, let's go get yeah. our stuff, it might be a little different. Yeah. But when I'm first meeting them and this is how they're showing up, I'm kind of like, I mean, if, I if I was if I was dating someone, freshly dating someone, and then they're like, I'm, I have to go to the doctor, I have to go get my Botox. I'm late for my Botox appointment. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, I, I don't know how that would make, it would make me feel like, okay, cool, he's taking care of himself. I'm telling you, I I have though. Um, you know, I I dated one particular person that like I literally grabbed him by the hand and was like, "You're gonna get Botox with me," and um, and after a while, it's like, "Hey, I'm due for Botox," and I'm like, "Okay, I'll make you your appointment." Um, and that's yeah, and 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 it was like, "Hey, like I know so many guys personally without putting their business out there that they do it," and I think it's just part of like getting your hair done or like. I see nothing wrong when I get my nails done that I yeah. see a guy that's getting his pedicure oh, that's done true. Yeah. or getting his manicure done. And I know that, like, um, maybe 20 years ago, you know, the guys even being at, like, I don't know, at, at the nail shop just trying to get their wives or get their girlfriends, they'd be, like, all weirded out about well, it. Well, I know what's interesting is high-level men in the business world always got manicures. Okay, you so see? my entire career, which is okay, pretty long, see? the men always got manicures because they're shaking hands, they have their expensive watches, they've spent a lot of money. So like some of them obviously go get tan and stuff like oh, that. Oh yeah, for but sure. But the manicures are a big thing. My my good friend Jeff Walt, who recently passed away, you know, a producer in Hollywood, old Hollywood, like with the big glasses and the an older guy, yeah. like you would imagine. He never missed his Manny Petty appointment in Malibu. Like he just wouldn't. He called me he so many times. Hey, I'm getting my Manny Petty, and it was just his thing because that's how he'd show up as like clean and professional. Wait, and, and and I think you will look at that. Like I know for me, to I look at look, a man's I hands. definitely will look at a man's hands, and if they have like dirt under their nails, yes. I can see that, and and it makes me think like you know like even when you go to get your tires fixed and then there's guys that don't wear gloves you know cuz there's guys that are like no I'm a man I'm going to yeah. I'm going to freaking grab the the, the tire the, wheel, the, the tire head. and I'm going to just do it and you can see that that's how they're grabbing the wheel and the tire and um and to me I And there's it, women that love that though too Yeah no and I respect it by the way I'm not saying anything that negative about yeah. it but um it is there is something about you know just the cleanliness yes. of just having clean hands and like the nails being on point and even the toes. Okay, so how do you feel? Because this is a thing that came up a, a long time ago with me. Um, how do you feel about guys that wax their bodies? Um, it depends. Because there's guys that shave and then there's guys that actually will go. And, and like I knew a guy that like actually got lasered um, oh, okay. to not have any facial hair. Oh. Yeah, and he was a Marine oh. and, and he was like a totally man's man. And I was like, that's weird that you would get... He's like, I never want a girl facial hair. So wow. to me... Especially for a military person. Right, you know. right. And he's like, I hate shaving. He's like, I just don't want the hair. And he's like, I'm just going to get it lasered. 
Um, granted, this was a long time ago. I used to work with this guy maybe 20 years ago. So I don't know with the whole beard thing going on yeah. right now. I think Trend maybe he regrets like, that. Yeah. But I did think that was really weird, by the way. I found that a little strange. Yeah. Um, but he seemed manly. It just it was weird that he would want to get his whole entire face lasered. So I know that before um, I married my husband, I was very, very young, obviously. And I was not raised in a family of men that were hairy. Oh. And so not on my mom's side, not on my dad's side, not any. Anywhere did I see men with hair on their chest or anywhere. on their legs really there wasn't a lot of hair anywhere so then I end up with you know my husband very young and he even at 18 was covered in, in hair. hair and so anyways we ended up getting married young and everything and I remember saying something like oh my god like I almost wasn't sure that this was gonna work out because he had so much hair all over his body so it prompted him to then like sleep with the t-shirt on for a long time until yeah. I finally was like don't do that because of me like yeah. I'm just being a brat but yeah. like like, you're my husband. Like, I don't like, care. Like, you're my you're husband. You're a werewolf. So, eventually, um, you know, you grow to, like, appreciate it or understand appreciate that everybody's hair. everybody's different. I know, I know that, like, this week, for some reason, it's kind of funny because you've been making this gesture or you've been saying this thing with, like, the nipples and the hairy nipples. Yes. And to me, I, I don't know. Like, something about that is really disgusting. Yeah. And, um, and, I, and I guess I didn't really answer your question if I would be okay with a guy um, getting waxed. But if he has, like, really hairy nipples... Um, I would totally expect him to like Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> that, yeah, like I would, I would really encourage. I would encourage Kel Kelly Clarkson like wax. So like for sure. if you're one of the Fab Five Team Five, what is it, Fab Fifteen men that yeah. are watching, you're you're hearing two perspectives because I now can come into the situation and I can appreciate that uh, you know guys have hair. But but or I whatever. wonder if it's because he was your husband and you loved him because I can see by the way I can see that. Love is so blind, and I can see the imperfections would be perfections to me, right? Yeah. But if it's just some guy that you're sort of starting to talk to, and then he's like, yeah, baby, shaggy baby, and he's literally shaggy baby. <laughs> Not like, like, <laughs> that. That's the power. That dude has like a rug, like a heart-shaped rug shaggy on his baby. chest. And he wants to shag yeah, it up yeah. with you. You're like, uh, no. Okay, so, here, okay, no. so here's, you're going to hear it from no. two, two spectrums, okay? I'm okay if a guy has hair, like, wherever, okay? okay? But I do find it challenging Challenging. if there's hair in places, like, that it really kind of doesn't make sense. Like, if it's all over the back. So I know someone um, in the, know related to my ex, whatever, and I made a comment. I was like, oh, my God, you got a whole freaking, like, quilt back here. I was yeah. being funny. But it's not funny because then he went and started having his kids help him shave. And I obviously gave him a complex yeah. and I didn't mean to. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's like I understand men are like beasts and they're animalistic and they have yeah. testosterone. So they might grow hair all over the place. So I guess if I saw a man with like hair on his chest or whatever, even if it was a lot, it wouldn't bother me at this point. Yeah. But I think if it's going over and it's like an overall situation, you're like, in the, like I feel like there should be some kind of uh, uh, maintenance. Containment? Like some kind. Contain it? Can, can we, can, just, we uh, can we braid it? Can we, <laughs> can we like if we could just have rights? a little bit of content, like just have some containment. I really do believe, um, like I get it. Everyone's different. I'm not here to to give anybody an insecurity. If I love no. you the way that you are, then then cool. Like I love your freaking quilted back, and we can do braids. But um, but if it's not the if there's no love there like that, um, that's I, true. I, it's, it's different, right? And I'm not saying that. I'm going to be grossed out by it. I understand he's a man, and that's why you would be with a man. Um, I, I wouldn't expect a woman to have a whole hairy back, right? But then again, I don't like women. Um, and so what I'm trying to say is, yeah, I think I would be totally encouraging. I would encourage him, and I would shave his back, and I would probably, knowing me, try to buy a laser to laser it. <laughs> She'll be back there. Like, I would be like, it's about that time to get that treatment. Time to get the clippers. Yeah, we, we are going to give you that out. treatment. And, yeah. and there's guys that, um, that are, you know, that even kind of trim under their arms oh, and, okay. and you know and and so it's not shaved it's just trimmed um and then there is a fine line between like a guy that like I've known guys that shave their legs like I was just gonna bring that up and shave their yes. legs like like a girl I have, I have and seen that that's yes. a little strange too I'm uh, not gonna lie to you because there's there's one extreme to another right yes. you're like you know and at the end so, of the day love is love my older son um he 
he was in water polo. And okay. when you're in water polo, they make all the boys shave. And I remember he came home with this paper and he's like, Mom, look at this. And it says they need to be full body bald. You're talking armpits. And oh, anywhere okay, they have hair, they have to shave. Because something about, I don't know, something about the way they move in the water and whatever, whatever. Holds them back. And he was very back uncomfortable because he was like, that seems feminine. And, you know, you knew my son. He was very like, uh. I'm not doing So that. anyways, I got, got him a special little round little thing so he can try to do it. Got him there. So anyways, mm-hmm. he shaves his legs, right? And then he goes, he puts his jeans on. And then he goes, oh, man. He goes, you guys are really out here rolling around like this? This is kind of awesome. It's like soft. And it became smooth. this whole thing of like, yeah, it was like smooth. Yeah. And, you know, it's like when you first fresh. shave, you're like, ooh, this feels so good. Yes. Yeah. And so it was really, really shocking. And then there's a, a story that's kind of TMI about the back door area of a man um, that I heard. Back and door. basically there was a thing called NADS. The starfish. Do you guys remember something called NADS? It was like this green, sweet uh, gel thing. And you put it on, it was like wax, but it was like a slime. And, and you rub it off and it pulls your hair off. And so there's a story of a, oh, of a, wow. of a person that, that I knew. Really... And the husband was hairy. And he had a hairy crack. I can't believe I'm talking about this on the interweb. But That's here we go. Right. And crack. so she goes, babe, I'll help you, whatever. He splits it. All right. And she, she swipes it. Swipe, 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 swipe. That's love. Blow, blow, blow. You know, dry it off, whatever. And then one, two, three, K, ready, babe. Because you, you have to put a strap. You have to put a strip of cloth right. on it. It's kind of, I mean, I've had a Brazilian done. So, so it's like yeah. that, but it's like nads. It's really wonderful, and it's uh-huh. from like the '90s or okay. something. Okay. So then she rips it off. Never. He's, he's never been waxed or anything. Okay. And this is his second crack, and she like, rah, dude, literally freaks Kelly out, and screaming did. Kelly Clarkson or whatever. But then, like, a few hours... And by the way, we knew this person very well. And I, we were like, okay, so what? what's the outcome? And he He's goes... Like, when he I'm went to the restroom... When he went to the restroom, he said... And he, like, what? He goes, dang, this is how they get to do it? And he's I was like... He's a believer. You he know, so he's going to be like, baby, <laughs> it's that time. It's get the, the smooth, nat out. The get the green So, listen, machine. I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a stickler about men wanting to make improvements for themselves or wanting to do things to make themselves more comfortable. But I am kind of like, I'm learning, you know, I'm exploring in the world. I'm a Gen Xer. I'm, I'm more about just be who you are. But then I see these men and I'm like, this is kind of I odd. mean, because there's, there's, but, but here's the thing with that, though, in my opinion. There's, there's extremes to everything, right? Because, yes. like, yes, I like, I do do Botox. Okay, big deal. Like, it's not the end of the world. And I've had no, filler. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. not the end of the world. But there are levels to everything that you do in life, right? Because then there's the girls that are like this. Right. And then they're like, what? yeah. And then, but they, they like, they're happy, they're sad, they're mad, they're pissed off, All whatever. The, that the, the emotion never yeah. changes. It's like. You know what I mean? Yes. And so I don't want to be with someone that, you know, has no emotion in their face. They have no facial expression, So right? I actually refer to men with this look as Mona Lisa's. So, like, I have this little code word where I'd go, I liked him, but he's a Mona Lisa. And then they go, Rachel, no. Because they know that the Mona Lisa has no expression. Right. And in Spanish, no, no sonria, no llanta. Like, there's no there's no smile. There's no sadness. There's no... Yeah. It's the Mona Lisa. And so. you couldn't crack a smile because you'd be Got busting jug- yeah. jokes. Like... <laughs> the Mona Lisa. <laughs> it's like, I can't crack oh, a joke with this gosh. dude. So no, I'm, yeah. I'm really curious. If you're a guy that's watching this and you're a guy's guy, whatever you think, do you think it's kind of... Fe- it's too feminine to be dyeing your hair, I, getting Botox, shaving it's your legs? A, it's extremity. It's like the guy in Laguna Beach, right? Like, yeah. I'm like, Walter Mercado. Oh, is that you? Yeah. Is that you? I see. Like you said, I'm like, is it you? You back oh from the God, dead? Exactly. But no, this guy, you know, that's another extreme. Like that was, that was like, I couldn't tell if he was a man or a woman. Like that's an extreme that I'm talking about. Like yes. the women that are so beautiful and you're like, but why? Oh like the girl from Miami, Lisa Hochstein. Oh gosh. God, she's beautiful, freaking gorgeous. Beautiful, gorgeous woman. Gorgeous, and now gorgeous. it's like distorted. And now it's like, but why? So afraid of a wrinkle. Like, but you're so why? afraid. There's literal lasers. Like, you're so afraid of a wrinkle that you're going to do this. And, and I think that that's the hard part. I think, and I mean, a, I, I think she's turned it around. Though. I think like she's, she's now turning it around. But there yeah. was a moment there where I don't even think she could smile. She just yeah. had so much filler that, I mean, I'm sure it even hurt to smile. Yeah. So there, yeah. that's the extremity that I'm saying that, you know, it's one thing to upkeep. And it's another thing to, like just take it to the other level just like yeah. you know what just put five syringes in my face like that's another <laughs> level of like what the hell and so with men same thing like it's one thing for you to get a little tummy tuck I get it I get it it's very feminine but sometimes men need it too and that's okay like there's no reason why we should bash them 
But, you know, I think it's the love thing, too, though. Like, I don't know I if I'm so. just talking to you and you're like, can you take care of me if I get a tummy tuck? I'm like, yeah, I'm not the one. I'm not the one. I am probably not the one. I'd, I have to but build that But it's true. Love. If I love you, I'm going to love your I'm dad bod. I'm going to love your, you your girl and, boobs or your man boobs. And give you the medication and yeah. do all the things. But if I don't, we're just, yes. yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't know. All it's right. rough out there. In the we streets. got anything else? I think that's it. I think but whatever you decide to do, just remember that... You're beautiful the way that you are. If you want some improvements, men or female, yes. do it if it makes you happy. And Amen. All we got to say is see you next week. See you next week. You deserve and fresh you deserve lettuce. Fresh lettuce. Cheers. Cheers.